one of the th magical, amazing things about musical instruments is that they're these kind of physical, beautiful objects that make sound that that we we become attached to. That are just you, you just want to you just want to spend time with them because they're these kind of magical uh, creations. Traditionally, computer uh, music happens in a studio, uh, locked down with big speakers, and you work alone. Um, Making music with others and computers has been kind of a slow process of trying to get out of the studio and make things a little bit more dynamic. So we're trying, I think, to make um, mobile musical network musical instruments that uh, both are inspired by traditional ways of making music, but also uh, leverage some of the new possibilities of laptops and networking. I like computers and I played music a lot in high school so I guess I wanted to find out how they would merge and what would come out of it. We do some crazy stuff. Um, we try to invent things. We try to do, do new things and invent sounds and invent different ways to play around with, with music. It's all about uh, sort of on the fly synthesis and, and you know, generative uh, audio and stuff. So the, I don't know. It's been it's cool to get get that perspective as well. Um, I I, th I think there's something fundamentally different about taking some kind of uh, audio workshop program and sort of finding your way through their patterns and finding the things that you find interesting uh, and sort of fundamentally writing your own instrument. And that you're really in there, you know, like manipulating. Uh, the samples, it's sample level. The, the motivation for it, down really to the design of the technology, comes from, uh, at least in part, my experiences as a, as a fiddler. Um, so the actual design of our technology is directly inspired by the way acoustic instruments work. And one of the main uh, features are these funny speakers we use. They're these hemispherical speakers. And they radiate sound in all directions, going from a single point outwards. So these speakers are actually supposed to behave more the way um, acoustic instruments do. They're a localized sound source that an individual player can attend to. It's really up to the programmer or the composer of the piece to decide um, how the user is interacting with the programmed instrument and, um, and what that's going to sound like. So uh, for example, in, what was the last piece we just played? Clicks. Clicks. So the last piece was... Uh, this uh, piece called Clicks in which the sounds you hear are all these like little clicking, bubbly, um, percussive sounds coming from all over the orchestra. Um, and the way we control that is simply by typing. Um, if you type in the capital uh, letters early in the alphabet, those are going to be low sounds. If you type lowercase um, letters at the end of the alphabet, those are going to be the higher sounds. But then we have the conductor and the composer of the piece Gu Wang up um, in front of us, and he's you know giving us all these hand signals, um, directing us to go from low sounds up to high sounds, or you know. So we work all these things out ahead of time. One of the things we've been working on in the past and are going to be doing more of uh, is uh, exploring both existing interfaces and building new interfaces to really f get physically involved with making sound with the laptop. I think, you know, we're not killing the laptop, but I think a bunch of you are already doing this. Whack. Don't just touch it. Whack, Whack it. Whack. One of my criteria is I would like to have interfaces that require uh, players to break a sweat so that you're, you're playing and you, you've got to work. You can't just press a button. It, you've, got to, you've got to be putting energy in to get anything back. Just last week we had the whole orchestra set up with Wii Motes, these Wii uh, game controllers. Uh, wireless, the kids love them, they know how to play tennis with them, so we try to make music with them.
technology to play acoustic instruments? It's a fair question. Well, there are some things that computers can do that acoustic instruments can't. One of them is, is the ability to network. A lot of network stuff has to do with you know distance learning and distance communication. I'm actually more interested in how can a network facilitate and change the way we interact with other people who are in the same room with us. Um, and having a musical context, a quartet or an orchestra, where in addition to using their ears to communicate and respond to one another, they actually can share information over a local network. And that information can be traditional text-based information, but it can also be actual musical information, like rhythms, pitches, that go by at a musical rate that you can actually respond to musically. That's, that's really exciting. And I think we'll learn a lot about some of the ways we can actually be with other people in the same room in this kind of technologically augmented way. There, there are some pieces that sort of that, that we play that musically, you know, I, not necessarily my style, but, but there's always something interesting about how they programmed it. And so a, a, lot, of, a lot of the pieces are, are interesting for me to think, to think about the way, that, the way that we are making the sound more than the actual sound that's coming out of it at the end of the day. It's about buzz, it's about people getting excited about new ideas, about working together, trying something new, playing a new instrument. You think about the electric guitar and how much energy that, that generated just because it's this new thing that so many people are interested in. And I'm really excited to see what actual music comes out. I think we're going to hear music that not only we haven't heard before, but we haven't even imagined before.